It's Alexis Wolf. We're back in my book, Looking for God, Volume 1. We are back in Chapter 9, The Other Side of Suffering. And we have a very short section, so this will be a quick video, which is Part 2. God's Essence and Intention God functions as the supreme being. Above all, El Shaddai, God Almighty, is the God of unfailing love. He created us so as to have someone with whom he could commune, which is why he created us in his image. It's very, very important. Whatever we feel, it's because we are as he. Bearing this in mind, know that as we desire acceptance, love, mercy, compassion, tenderness, and freedom, he too desires for and from us. We are created to love him with the love he lavishes upon us. He does not want trained animals. He longs for a people who are obedient from a heart of being in love with him and one that trusts implicitly his ways are higher than our own. More importantly, we must understand the cost of his love. Obedience from a heart of love is the greatest expression of affection toward God. He is a forgiving, merciful, and compassionate God. He forgave us our transgressions before we were ever born or committed our first offense. Even on the cross, he asked the Father to forgive his murderers because he understood man's plight of ignorance. He understood God's heart of love and that his death was the only way to save us. He understood obedience while living in an earthen vessel because he comprehended God's intention of love. If we would ask and seek to obtain the same understanding that Jesus had, our walk with God would become one of victory to victory. Yeshua is patient beyond all imagination. He extends his long suffering toward us so that we may learn for ourselves how to be patient with others. He is joy, peace, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. It is God's righteous right hand that saves and shelters those who seek refuge in him. He is everything good in this life. He is life itself, and it cannot be attained anywhere else. If we would get even a mere glimpse of his purity, we would willingly abandon ourselves in obedience. Knowing a fragment of who God is should make one beg to understand obedience, to release unto him anything of the flesh that may separate us from his kingdom. Why wouldn't we all want to be obedient to the highest capacity? When we understand his simple truth, our perspective will change, our obedience will be deeper, and it will usher freedom instead of a, rid a rigid religious bondage. You know, this whole section, these last couple um, videos, last few chapters, um, Obedience Without Understanding is Bondage. In my original book, this was all one chapter, um, but it was a bit cumbersome to get through for people, um, especially, you know, for those this was it was new to. Um, so I had to try to break it up so that we could kind of take it section by section. But, you know, Obedience from a heart of love, from a heart of understanding God's love for us, changes everything, everything, everything. And oh God, Father, that we would fall so in love with you. Father, I pray that we will rend our hearts for you, Father God, that we will rip, rip away that place in us that makes us rigid against you and that makes us religious and hard and harsh and like the Pharisees. Father, that we will be a people that we just fall on our faces before you, saying whatsoever you will, Father, may it be done in my life. Father, I pray that we will be a people who can actually get in agreement with your perfect will, whatever that is, that we will stop being afraid of your will and have fear of you, knowing that you are the God who created us, that you are the God who can um, send us to heaven or hell, that you are that very God. And there, there, was, there is no one else like you. You are sovereign and you are holy and you are just and you are righteous and you are in love with us, Father. And I pray that we will be a people who will turn and reciprocate your perfect boundless love for us, that we will give that back to you and that our obedience will merely be an offshoot of that unfailing, unwavering love that we give back to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be blessed.